Welcome to Vietnam! Honestly, we're not alcoholics. That is amazing. Hey, for those of you who are new here, I'm Sky, and this is my boyfriend Charlie. And for the last seven months, we've been traveling around Thailand having the best time. If you want to see what we've got up to in Thailand, I have lots of videos that you can go and watch after this. But now though, it's time for our Vietnamese adventure. We plan to see as much of the country as we can, and we are kicking this series off in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. If you don't want to miss an episode coming, be sure to subscribe. So of course, in Vietnam, you gotta have coffee. So we've come for a local coffee at this coffee shop. Try the coffee. So I asked her, the woman, the barista, what coffee I should go for and she told me to go for this one. Vietnamese traditional local special. A mixture of Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk and a whole lot of sugar, I think. Wow, that is so sweet. It tastes like, like a dessert. That is amazing. It tastes like chocolate. It? it does. It has like a it's caramelly, like... chocolatey taste. Yeah, that's so, nice. Do you like that's it? Nice, yeah. It's good, but it's a lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. This is what we do on the side of the street oh, yeah. in Vietnam. You have a straw? Thank you. Oh, yeah. okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How much? At this point in our trip, we definitely didn't understand what the currency converted to from dong to pounds. This guy charged us 150,000 dong, which is about just over five pounds for two tiny coconuts. Definitely scammed us. We definitely didn't understand, so just be aware, guys. Come on. I think you say gammon. Like in England, English it would be gammon, but it's with some accent, and I'm still trying to get used to how to say it. Chamon, gammon. Anyway, this is nice. <laughs> so we just decided to come to this cafe called The Workshop just for a bit of like brunch, breakfast kind of food. It just clicked in my brain as to why this place is called The Workshop because they literally do this. We know that in Vietnam you have to try the traditional food here, so later on we are going to try some more Vietnamese foods, but we thought we'd just check this out and I think it's pretty good. Oh, I bloody love exploring new cities. When we get here, we're just here, there and everywhere because we want to see it all. We filled our stomachs. Charlie's not hungry anymore. <laughs> now we're on our way to find the best view in Ho Chi Minh City. My name written all over it, literally. Scarred it. <laughs> How much? 400,000. Which is? Dong. Which is, don't tell me, about 15 quid. It's 14. 14. My maths ain't great. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but since I've got older, I have become a little bit fearful of heights. <laughs> Before, when I was younger, I used to love heights, but being here, <laughs> when I look down, my legs start going all weird and it makes me feel funny. But I needed to come here to show you this view, this 360 view of the whole of Ho Chi Minh. It is unbelievable. Where are we going now? Uh, beer garden. Beer garden. Beer garden. Honestly, we're not alcoholics. Just on a Saturday, Charlie. <laughs> to a garden rooftop bar which is at Rex Hotel here in the city centre in Chiang, uh, Chiang Mai, Ho Chi Minh City. We needed a drink to cool down from all that walking because I swear it feels like about 40 degrees today, it's crazy. There's not a lot really going on too much at the daytime, I'm thinking tonight it's going to get busy. 
Okay, so it's five o'clock, which means that it's dinner time. So we are on the hunt for the well-known ban, ban me. We're heading to a market to try and find said food. Those of you who are from Nottingham watching this, this place smells exactly the same <laughs> as Victoria Market. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, it's kind of like a fishy smell. And obviously you can't forget the durian, which is traumatizing and triggering for me because when I ate it, I was almost sick. You can go watch that video here if you want to. But um, this market seems a bit more like clothes and jewelry and bags, that kind of stuff. So maybe we're not gonna find what we want in here but it's cool to see it anyway so we didn't find banh mi in the market but we did a quick google search and found this place hong hao which is said to be one of the best banh mi places in ho chi minh city all the locals go here and tourists not so much so of course we decided to go here quite a bit of meat yeah looks good smells all right. by the way before you eat it i just want to tell you i'm proud of you for being outside of your comfort zone sat on a baby chair these little baby plastic chairs in the middle of god knows where What's over there a dead rat on the floor over there <laughs> but it's fine you know this is vietnam <laughs> so this is ban me ban me ban me that's good is it hard or soft bread crunchy but soft it's like a baguette so we went for the roast pork and then inside they put a whole lot of vegetables and stuff and I think that yeah it's got that flavour coriander oh no I don't like coriander but anyway let's try huh. that bread is so good oh that pork it's not cold it's not hot it's kind of like room temperature mm. with a nice sauce it's good it's good mm. cheers cheers <laughs> my mouth is absolutely on fire because I didn't realise they put this sauce on it and it's got a kick to it so it's very spicy towards the end but well, that was really nice, the bread was really good it was 35,000 dong right? 35,000 dong, I'll do the conversion here but we did go for just pork so let me know in the comments what's the best filling to try because I can see myself having this plenty of times what a crazy first day in this wild city, <laughs> Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon in Vietnam. It's I'm really halfway done. I'm <laughs> really halfway there. <laughs> crazy but wonderful. Some good things, some bad as always. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, baby. And uh, if you want to see more of my Vietnam adventures or our Vietnam adventures, should I say? Guys, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Then subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next vlog. Vietnam! Coming up in the next vlog, Saigon is said to have some of the best nightlife in the whole of Vietnam. So we take you with us on a crazy nightlife adventure. Fasten your seatbelts guys, as this is going to be a wild one.